Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie featuring Simple Stories Boho Sunshine and for this layout I've picked out all the yellows, pinks and browns. I've decided I'm going to use these two 12 by 12 papers together and I've just turned over the yellow one which is the Smile Big and using a roll of tape I've drawn a circle in the bottom right corner and I'm now uh, using just using a ruler and pencil drawing some rays to uh, go around from a central point in the middle of that circle. So I'm looking for the rays to be wider than the gap so I'm just taking my time just to make sure that I've got some uh, spacings and a couple I go back to and just tweak them a little uh, but so far I like the way that's looking. So using a pair of scissors I'm going to cut between the rays only as far as that circle that I drew in pencil uh, otherwise you're going to end up with lots of just bits of paper in front of you on the table. So I'm just using just a, a pair of scissors. You can use a blade uh, and a mat if that's what you prefer. And I'm just trimming out the um, bits in between the rays. So you saw me flick it over there. I'm liking the way it's looking already. So I'm going to carry on and do the rest of the bigger ones. Now they get quite narrow when they get to the circle so I am taking my time and I do finish it off camera. I've got my photograph and using just a metal die I've trimmed it to be a circle. I've brought in another of the Boho Sunshine papers. This is officially the 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four elements and that's what you can see there on the back but I'm going to use the brown side and I'm just going to with a pencil just use my original rays on the yellow as a template because I want the brown to stick out either side so if I've drawn the yellow ones then I'm going to just come in with my scissors again and actually not cut on the pencil lines I'm coming inside those because obviously as I say I would like the brown to show either side of the ray so I'm just going to do this again by hand and trim those out and I'm just putting one over the other so you've got an idea of how that looks there with the brown uh, either side of the yellow and I think that's going to work. So I do that off camera. Um, initially I look at that die cut to go behind the photo but it doesn't make the final cut but it's definitely where a lot of the inspiration came from and I'm bringing in my distress tool and I'm just giving the edges of the rays a rub. Not the, not the uh, outer edges, just the um, cut edges that I've done and I'm just going to bend some of them a little bit just to give them a little bit of movement and I've distressed the brown one as well. So just using a bit of double sided tape underneath the circle I've stuck the two layers there together. I am actually going to add them to white cardstock as well and uh, I just need a bit of double sided tape in the centre to get it in the right position then I can stick all the brown rays down. But I, would, I want to bend the edges of those as well so I'm just adding just a little bit of tape, enough for it to be stuck down but um, I don't want to uh, stick the edges so I'm just putting the tape in the centre on the back as I just manipulate those. I'm just turning it round. Some of them I'm just making a tiny bit thinner. Now I've got the two, one on top of each other. Um, some of them, my cutting lines aren't as straight as they could be but with the distressing and the bending it's not too big a deal but there's a couple of ones here at the bottom I think are just a little bit too thick and I go back in with the scissors on them. So uh, I really would recommend you uh, check out this range. This is my third uh, layout and video for uh, Simple Stories and uh, Boho Sunshine. So have a look at those if you've not seen them already. If you like this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'd much appreciate that. While I just get some double-sided tape stuck on the back of these rays. So I'm just at this stage applying it to the brown. I will come back in and put some on the yellow as well as I get that far. There's a couple there that just need pressing down. So I'm going to concentrate on the photo now. I, I didn't like the die cut behind it in the end so using a couple of pattern papers I'll bring in some circles I've cut with the um, metal dies. There's a pinky flowery one and then the same one as the brown background just to add a couple of layers behind the photograph there and I, I like the way that that's going to look. And I just put some foam pads ready to stick that down. Now you might spy on the left that I've got some sequins there in the lid of my sequin pot and I'm going to add some sequins to each of the rays. I'm looking at doing one straight line down the centre of each one with a mixture of sequins on. So I've just got my needle case uh, and needle threader there 
Um, my eyes are not good enough and I want to make sure the needle goes through the sequins before I get all set up because that would otherwise that mean sorting that. I'm going to use three strands of the cotton that I've picked and it's just a peachy brown colour that went I thought went really well would be obvious but not too obvious so I've just got my um, mat underneath the layout there and with a pokey tool I'm just going to add two holes one in the centre um, so it will be covered by the photograph and one down each ray ready for the stitching. I did originally think about doing three lines of stitching down each ray but some of the longer ones are very narrow at the end so I thought actually it would start to get a bit messy so I made the executive decision just to do one line on each ray. Um, so I'm adding any sequins at the box. I don't know why I keep my sequins mixed. Um, I'm not going to ever go through them now and separate them out. It was, I think it was when they first came in kits and things and I just poured them all into the same box. Um, but um, So I sorted them out off camera, otherwise that would have really um, uh, been great to watch. But there's all sorts of yellows, browns, peaches, pinks in there. Uh, and some golds as well and I'm going to try and add them randomly I'm trying not to count them I just want to have a selection and then I will move them around I'm not going to attach them at this stage I may go back and stick a few with a bit of wet glue when it's finished just to stop them all sliding to the ends of the threads when it's in the album and I've just got some uh, sellotape there in the dispenser to stick the thread at the back and then I will come in, knot it again, and start on the smaller rays. I'm just I'm doing the smaller rays first just to see how my idea looks in uh, in reality. But I have stuck a load of holes in the in the rays in the paper now, so I'm going to continue actually. And I'm also conscious that I am going to do some embellishing of the photograph, not too much because I think these sequins are going to take uh, be stars of the show really. But I don't want too many um, around the photograph, so I think. I think I've done five or six on some of these and I think that's plenty on the shorter ones and obviously I will add more as I work my way around. Now you, you can find templates and, and uh, cut files for this sort of thing but I hope I've showed that it's actually really easy with a pair of scissors to get in and, and a pencil and do this yourself. So there's all the sequins sewn down. Um, quite pleased with the way that they're looking. I'm going to add the photograph now on the foam pads. I will tweak the sequins repeatedly, so I don't. I do think I'll go in and I will stick a few of them down with a bit of wet glue to stop them moving, and I will want them to lie in the one direction. So that's what I've been moving about there. So I want to add some embellishment around the photo, but not too much. A cluster on each side, maybe. Uh, I really like the "You Are My Sunshine." I think that goes with the rays. I know the photo was taken at sunset, um, but I just thought it was quite a statement photograph that would go considering the size of the photograph I think this I've, I printed it three and a half inch square and then I cut it with a metal die so it's a bit smaller than that so I needed it to be a um, quite noticeable photograph I think so embellishment wise as this sun I quite like its smiley face but I'm going to cover it with that pair of sandals there and I've got some of these flare here that were are exclusive to Hey Little Magpie designed specifically to go with this simple stories boho sunshine range so I'm going to definitely try and get one or two of those on as well because they really bring out the colours of this range. As you can see from the uh, embellishments on the left I have cherry picked the colours I thought would match just to uh, reduce what I need to look at to find what works. I have added a little flower on the right and I think I do eventually add a flower on the left as well just to bring in a darker tone uh, but I don't want to add too much otherwise I feel like it takes away from all the rest. So that's all stuck down and now I'm bringing in these um, sunglasses, they're chipboard, I think they work perfectly there. There's a little heart too that will sneak onto the photograph but I just want to stay with the circle and not cover too much of it. So I'm going to bring in a couple of the circle uh, like sticky brads there as well. So there's plenty of circles that go with it. I think I'm quite happy now with the way that this is looking. So uh, I'll add those, a sticky brad under the title and another one I think on the right hand side. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much done. Um, I know I've used two sheets of 12 by 12 paper, but apart from that, there's very little that I've added to it. I wish you could see how those sequins shine. Um, and I'm just going to, I will keep messing with this until I take a photo, just bending up those edges because I really like the way the movement is with the sequins and the and the rays. So all, it, all I need to say is thank you so much for watching. Do check out this range in the store. I would really recommend 
um, creating with it lots of opportunities and photographs you could use. And uh, here comes the uh, full image and the close-up. So hopefully you can see the stitching and the sequins. Thank you so much for watching. Do check us out again and I'll be here real soon. Bye for now.